Hi everyone, welcome to the 8th episode of XCA Badcast, a series of bite-sized tips and tricks that can be implemented into any of your project. In this video, we are going to implement navigation transition hero animation similar to the App Store using the new iOS 18 CVUI navigation transition API. Before we start, let me show you the starter and completed project side by side. So here on the left side, we have the iPhone 16 Pro Simulator running the starter project. We have a screen containing a list of article. So the user can tap the article to navigate to the detail screen. So it uses navigation stack with navigation link under the hood. And as you can see, it uses just the default navigation transition animation, right? And here on the right side, we have the complete project with the navigation transition API. So let me tap on one of the article. Boom. It uses the navigation transition animation new API. And here I can simply pull to dismiss. Wow, it's very smooth, right? Or I can also tap this class button to dismiss the screen. Amazing, right? So this navigation transition, this is the thing that we will implement in this video tutorial. Okay, now let's just begin. Let me close this. Okay, please also download the starter project from the GitHub repository that I have provided in the description below if you plan to code along with me. Let me show you the starter project. Here I have opened the starter project in here. So let me give you a quick walkthrough of this. So here we have the article. So this represents a news article. It's using the struct in here. And here we have the article plus tabs. This is just an extension of the article containing static file to basically uh, load the news from this JSON resources, as you can see here. So for this, we don't need to make API call. We can just load the array of articles from this news.json. And here we have our main view, which is this article list view, as you can see in here. So this is very simple. It basically contains the state, which is the articles array from the preview data, the stop. And in here, we have the navigation stack and the scroll view containing the article card view. Okay. So if you see here, it's just a navigation link to navigate. So when I tap, it should navigate here. And for the card view and the detail view, it's just the same component. But in here, there's a enum to determine whether it's displayed on the list or on the detail. Okay, as you can see in here. And under the hood, it uses this cache async image from Lorenzo Flamingo to load the image from the network and cache it as well. Okay, so that's a starter project. Let's begin our implementation. So the implementation itself is very, very simple. The API is very, very amazing. Okay, as you can see, the first thing that we are going to do is we need to declare the namespace using this property wrapper. Okay, and here I'm going to give it a name of hero transition. Okay, so this is the namespace to identify the transition group that we will be using. Okay. Next one in this uh, navigation link, the destination closure, we need to add the navigation transition modifier. So as you can see in here, let's add this navigation transition modifier. Navigation transition. Okay, so this is new in iOS uh, 18. Sets the navigation transition style for this view and it accepts the navigation transition. Okay, so currently there is only one type of built-in navigation style. Which Okay, so for this, we are going to use this zoom passing the article.id for the identifier for the source ID. And then for the namespace group, we are going to use the namespace that we have declared as the here in the property. Okay, and the next thing is we just need to add the in this navigation link, right? When the users when the user tap this, we need to add this matched transition source identifies the view as the source of navigation transition. So this is basically the view, the row, 
the raw of the article, which will be the source of the navigation transition. Okay, so let's add this. So uh, again, for the ID, we need to give the individual ID for each row. In this case, article ID. And the namespace ID, we need to pass the our namespace, which is the hero transition. Okay, now we can simply try this from the preview. Now when I tap, as you can see, it uses the new navigation transition animation API. Looks nice, right? But there are several things that we can improve. First, we need to hide this navigation bar and add a close button in here. And we should also uh, extend this image all the way to the top edges inside in here. Okay. We want to basically extend the image all, all the way to the top. So let's just add the implementation in here. We need to go to the article detail article card view sorry okay and then in the article card view we just need to focus on the detail style you see here the detail style but the first thing that we need to do let's add an environment to dismiss this okay so we just need to invoke this when the user tap on the class button okay and the next thing is we need to add the close button so let me just copy and paste the close button in here so this is just the close button with the action to dismiss okay so forget the s in here the action closure will just invoke the dismiss to dismiss this from the navigation stack and here we just use the x mark uh, sf symbol and add several modifiers to make it similar to the app store okay so we need to add this close button to the detail view this is the list okay this is the detail so what we need to do in here we need to first we need to add the ignores save area space all and for the edges we want it to be top Okay, and next one is we need to add an overlay to show the class button. And here we are going to use C stack with the alignment of top trailing. And just declare the class button. And let's add a frame of max width of infinity and max height of infinity and alignment alignment of top trailing or the x in here okay and this should be remove this okay now it works fine we have the class button in here so next thing is we also need to add the toolbar passing a uh, hidden we want to hit the toolbar in this case and also we want to hide the status bar as well okay so let's try this from the article list view let me tap on this wow and we can dismiss by pull it down wow the animation is very smooth wow and we are kind of also try to tap the class button to dismiss that's it so yeah we have successfully implemented the navigation transition api for this app so it uses a zoom transition api similar to the app store application in the discover today tab okay and i hope this video is useful for you like the video if you like subscribe if you haven't and thanks for supporting me so far and until the next one, let's keep on being a lifelong learner. Goodbye.